Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raul from Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles. I hope everybody had a nice holiday, Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy your time with your family. I'm actually in Columbus again, doing a layover for my job. So I decided to take advantage while I was here for a day and go check out another LFS, uh, LFS around in this area. It's about 15 minutes away. I'm actually waiting for my lift to come pick me up. It's called Aquarium Adventure Columbus. I looked it up on Google and uh, they got a lot of fish texts and a lot of animals. So I figured I'd go on over there and do a, a store tour like I did with the pet smart across the street here. All right, so there it is, Aquarium Adventure. Hi right, guys, so I'm finally into the store. I made contact with the uh, the supervisor. He gave me the green light. So I just met this gentleman here. Your name is? Alex, how you doing guys? So Alex, tell me how long the store has been around. So we have actually moved locations. The original store started about 25 years ago in, um, in 2002, it was either 1994 or 1995, one of the two. Um, and then we moved to this location on off from um, off from Sawmill to over here about four years ago. Massive. Massive. As soon as you walk into the store, the first thing you see is the uh, the pond. So take a look at these coins. So these coins, how old are they? They range from some of them are from the old location that we had a full pond there as well, and some of them are new additions. Um, I don't know the age on all of these guys, but I imagine some of them range from either from five years to even maybe 15 years old. Wow. They say koi's can actually live up to 160 years. Or more. Or more. So these guys here is definitely, uh, and these guys, have you guys had them since they've been small? Or, and you raise them? Some of them, yeah. Um, we have over the years accumulated more. Sometimes people that can't take, some, some people local, they can't take care of them anymore. They're moving or they're, they can't take care of their pond anymore. Right, right. And then this has just kind of become their forever home. This is um, this is beautiful, man. And they even spawn in here. If you look, there's even oh yeah, I saw that little small there one there. So I was sometimes gonna... they're even born in this pond. Some during the year in their spawning seasons, um, they get real funny and they start kind of breaching the water, almost like a right, little whale, right. which is really fun. Now, do you guys allow the customers to feed them occasionally or no? Usually we do. Since COVID, unfortunately, we've stop had that. Right. Um, I bet the kids get a kick out oh, of doing yes, that. It's definitely a big attraction. Uh, well, guys, we have a little feeder up in the front the here. The feeder? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, so they like to splash around and they, they see us here and they're used to people. They're thinking that so it's they... time to get fed. So clean, proper. Everybody here has been so nice since I walked through the door. Take a walk around. Let's take a look and see. They got plenty of tanks. Wow. So on the right side over here is going to be mostly our like sales floor for tanks. Um, where we display anywhere up from 15 gallons all the way up to This is the Fluvo, what is it, the this 9 gallon? Nine, this is a 9 flex. And that um, comes they, with the stand. That's the stand that comes with it, right? Yeah. This, well, they unfortunately don't come with them, but this is the model that they made for the, for gotcha. the tank. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is our coral frags. Nice. These are all live corals. So you guys are into that salt water, which my wife is forcing me here soon to get into. And we keep uh, softies, LPS, and SPS, um, a variety of different stuff. So that's the guys Everything got. from the really easy, like Zoanthids and Duncans and stuff, um, to sometimes we'll get like the Afropores and some of your SPS standies. Look at that, guys. Look at the size of that one right there. So that's a that's a big toadstool. Really, really pretty and really easy to grow as well. Look at the corals here. It's because they got that blue light, so yeah, that actinic light. And then so from here on, this is all like freshwater plants. This is freshwater plants. Yeah, so we have right? nine tanks of freshwater plants. This is the one that I, I was gonna wait to last to show you guys, but I can't, I can't, I can't control myself. Look at the size of that stingray. So tell me about this guy. So this is actually, this is Penny. Um, she's our freshwater Motoro Stingray. She's in her mid-ish 20s, between 23 and 25. I don't know the exact age. Wow. She's been with us since she was about, her disc was probably about that big. So she was not quite a cup cup, but she was still pretty young, maybe a few months to a year old. Gotcha. Um, Got so she's OG. She, we've had her for quite a while. Um, the tank here is roughly 
five to six hundred gallons. It's kind of hard to tell because of the uh, the, the way it's shaped. Oh, it's wow! Like, look, she comes all the way up. Right oh yeah. There, so you? she she sees us here specifically. So she thinks it's time to eat. Yes. Oh, um, and no. she will spray you with water <laughs> if, she, uh, if she doesn't get her way. So she's our kind of our, our attraction, our sham. Oh no, yeah, really definitely. Them blood powers are big too, man. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then there's one other stingray oh, in there's too. Another one yeah, in so there. that's another that's same kind of stingray. It's a motora. This is our male. His name is Digger. Digger. Uh, um, so he's a bit younger. He was actually Penny. To, uh, yes. Penny and Digger. Uh, yeah. The so Digger was brought to us by a customer who couldn't take care of him any longer, unfortunately, and he's just kind of living his life they're, here now. They're not for sale. They are not. They are kind of like sale, our store mascots. So don't hit me up trying to get the information to buy the stingray. Now check out this tank. This tank is how, how big? This tank's about 450 gallons. I'm actually pretty proud of this because I take care of this with one other guy. 450 um, gallons. It's 10 feet long and it's two feet, two and a half feet tall and two and a half feet from front to back. Um, freshwater, all live plants um, with, gosh, I don't even know how many species we have in here anymore. We've got roseline sharks, rummy nose tetras, congo tetras, uh, meons, probably five or six different kinds of quarries, ancestrous plecos. Um, yeah, those roseline barbs, are, I've never seen them so big before. Yeah, oh they're pretty God. old. We've had them for quite a while, too. So they, it's, this is what you can see, uh, an older fish will definitely... What are those there. right there, this, this, these guys? So, are you talking about the silver ones? Yeah. Those are red-tailed hemiotis. They'll get a pretty similar size. Those are a South American fish. Pretty peaceful. Got discus in here, too. Yeah, so we've got three discus, and they actually breed in here pretty often. Um, there's one blue diamond and two Marlboro Reds. Yeah, I seen that one back there because they're eating off the uh, the bloodworms, right? Yeah, so they threw in a bloodworm cone in there for a little bit ago. But this, this tank's really cool. It's really interactive. All I have to do is put my hand in the tank and everyone comes to say hi. And these rummy noses especially. Yeah, look at that school of them, man. That's beautiful. And it's because there's so many of them in here. There's just n there's no reason for them to be scared. They're not skittish at all. They're very bold and outgoing and, and super entertaining. And tell us what's the filtration you use for this So the tank. filtration we use for these, on top of weekly water changes, we also have two FX6s, one on each side of the tank. And we also have two internal canister UV sterilizers, one on each side. Okay, cool. I see them right there. We try to hide them with the plants as best we did, as best we can. Yes. So do you guys have like a... Um, so how do you guys do your water changes on this? So water change is actually super simple, barely any convenience. Um, we do a 25 to 30 percent change like every Saturday. I just pick a siphon hose and then drag just it down the floor drain over here. Oh, easy. Look at that. Every now and then we'll get down to the substrate to kind of stir things up. But we have so many bottom feeders in that here. Take care. I've seen all the Corydoras in there. Lots of Corys, lots of Amano shrimp. Yeah, I saw some Amano shrimps earlier. There's some pretty That's big ones in here, too. They've been in here for a few years, so they've got a good size on them. And there's actually some uh, really decent size bamboo shrimp over here and they're just kind of riding the waves out here and there's a really nice red one I that a lot right. of people ask me how much he is and unfortunately this is his forever home oh yeah this is where he gonna retire so oh, yeah. good yes. oh yeah i see the rest of you guys right yeah there. so they're just kind of riding the waves and this is what they do all day they're a filter feeder so if you ever watch them they actually have four sets of fans where they'll sit there and then they'll pull one in, kind of wring it clean with their mouth and then they'll put it back up and they'll do that in like clockwise or counterclockwise motion. So over here we have Asia and Africa and then behind us is South America. Oh, so you broke it down like that. Okay, yeah. I got you. It's pretty cool. We also have another salt tank, water. Salt okay. water. This is okay. a display tank as well. So this is all coral as well. Sorry for the glare, guys, but. Take a look at that. This is got... Oh, yeah, it's Nemo. Fish. Yeah. So we do have one hippo surgeon tang, also known as the dory fish. Right. Um, and a whole slew of, I want to say we've probably got 160, 180 clown fish in here. Yeah, I see that. It's pretty... So, but these are just for show. These are yeah. not for sale. This is for show, yeah. Every now and then we do swap some of the corals out and we'll put something else in there and then what we take out of here, we'll put for sale. Um, but for general general purpose, this is for just a display. That is awesome. I'll tell you, this store is amazing. They got tanks still over there we haven't even seen yet. The South American uh, marble guards are actually a kind of tetra. A little different from like your neon tetras and stuff like that. But they're not related to like alligator gar and, and the, okay. uh, the kind of more traditional gar. But they developed in the same way that they 
South American marble block. Now, how big do they get? They'll get about a foot long. About a foot long. 12 inches, wow. Very aggressive? Not particularly, but if it fits in its mouth, it's fair game. That's like my water cod goby. Yep. If it fits in his mouth, he's gonna eat it. Um, these are, um, they're not labeled, but these are a filament barb, so they're very similar to like the I like the tails, lines. yeah. Yeah, they're in the similar family and they get a lot of really pretty color um, of like iridescence. If the light hits them just right, they turn really bright, like aqua green almost. Yeah, that's so Really pretty. Of course, we got the uh, barbs here. Got some more black rudy barbs, kind of similar looking to a tiger barb, but not nearly as nasty. Gotcha. Um, and then black belt vieja, which are a Central American city. Yes, check this out. These guys are pretty little, but they'll eventually I've seen the other beer hills that have a different color, like yeah. the reddish on them and everything. Yeah, so these are the black bell. They turn mostly more of a white color, and then they'll have like a black ring around their stomach. And the ones right next to them are the Dipomo Benga, which are another kind of um, cap, kind of peacock type. Oh, a couple of YouTubers, I like these guys. Really cool. And these are the dwarf ones, not the big ones that get big enough to right, eat right. the fish. So really cool, really peaceful, great for little tanks. They're African butterflies. African butterflies. And they chill out on the top because they're a surface feeder. So they eat the little bugs that land on the surface of the water. It almost looks like a cricket just floating in the water. Check that out. Like an arowana too. With the... They almost look upside down. But yeah. They, 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 they just have these really long dangling down. Uh, There's another fins. one, okay. This one here is a black diamond stingray. Nice, he's good colors on Yeah, and he's really cool. He's almost like a puppy, he's very interactive. So then this whole wall here all connects to a sump down in the bottom corner. Okay. And that's how we have all of the tanks set up. As you'll notice, there's like a one spot where there's not a tank on the bottom. Okay, that's where the sump is, doors. okay. Got your guppies. Sword tails. Sword tails. Those when you like the pineapple sword tails. I kind of like these guys. I just got to make room for them in my community tank. I'm a big fan of Dalmatian mollies. I've got, uh, got one or two of them oh, over here on this good. side. Oh, he's pretty good. Look at that guy. He's nice size to him. Man, I you wish gotta I could get some more it. of those in. They, they fly out the door. Yeah, they're, they're very popular. I actually have my female Dalmatian molly. She passed away. She, she, she had fry. Uh -huh. All the fry got eaten except one. The bigger ones that are usually around three or four inches already. These are nice. I tell you, this is like the uh, this, this, polar sharks for some of those people out there. That I got I got an albino rainbow shark in my um, I've had him since he was small, juvenile. Uh -huh. He's gotten pretty big. Yes. Yeah. Gotta have your goldfish, cause wow, look at these guys. What are these? These are pom poms. They've got like uh, they bred to have the extra nostril pom tissues. Pom <laughs> I kind of think they look like somebody lit a firecracker in there. Yeah, yo, but look at that. I've never seen this before. They're a little different, and then right next to them is another odd. Ball I've seen those. The, the, the bubble eyes. eyes. The bubble eyes. Yeah. That's what they look like. No question, just a regular. And then, sort of I've even got the telescopes, which are kind of like a, a non-black black horn. Delicious. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I know a lot of people in the hobby like them. So. Oh yeah, they're cool. They're they're real real friendly. Uh, when they get to know you, they get pretty big. Wait, they got the gudgeons. Oh, oh, oh. So the section we're in right now is we call it the geek. Corner. So this is where all the nerdy stuff the is. Nerdy like stuff. The blowfish, the guppy, or the uh, the like and uh, they don't get too more big, too much bigger than this. Not either. too much. About two, two and a half inches is usually average size. And then we get um shrimp, and we got some shrimp followers. Look at but that. like if you look in the plants in the same tank, you'll see the the bright blue shrimp and the in the white. Oh plant yeah, you there. see them right there. Check it out. These guys are beautiful, man. They're not even aggressive either. No, not really. You know, it's got your... I got plenty of snails and yeah, I've got definitely um, a lot of snails. three fish up here. I had one named Jerry, he just passed away. Oh man, poor Jerry. Uh, you said you had some puffers before. Yeah, we've got, once, we've got the, the dwarf pea Dude, they're puffers. they're so small. I love so the these guys puffers. are, these guys are full fresh. Uh, they don't get too much bigger than that. 
Yeah, they don't they don't really get and it's recommended to have what, like about four or five of them together. Yeah, in the, in the right size tank because they can be pretty aggressive little boogers. They sometimes will go after Forget that they're so small. As well, but uh, these are ours. So these a lot piranhas. of people, they, uh, they see piranhas and they're like, oh, it's a big bloodthirsty monster fish. And they bite you as soon as they see them, but honestly, couldn't be more further from the truth. You're a brave man, but uh, I, I believe you. So we do have a little bit Look of their food the here. Look at the size of these guys. So check it out, he's gonna feed them right so now. This is just shrimp pellets by Omega One. And they they love this stuff. As soon as they get done with, with uh, being traumatized by the splash. Yeah, probably because we're there. There we go. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. <laughs> these guys are pretty fun to feed it either way. Even if they're not the, the bloodthirsty, crazy monsters that yeah, everyone like those thinks they are. The glitter on there. They're very pretty fish. Yeah. I sometimes refer to them jokingly as the glitter-sided tetra. Yeah, all the glitter there on the side, they're pretty dope, man. Well, I'm here with Alex. We're wrapping up the store tour. I just want to tell you guys, if you guys are ever in the Columbus area, definitely come by and check out this place.